And the huge one in Foxborough. Chiefs and Patriots, Kansas City's number three scoring offense against New England's top-ranked scoring defense. So much to love about this game. Mike Giardi, he knows. He joins us live from Gillette. And Mike, Mahomes and Brady, they meet again. They meet again, and I'll just tell you the great amount of respect that the two quarterbacks have for one another. Just remember the AFC title game was so tense, goes into overtime, and it was just a crazy celebration from the Patriots after they won it. So much joy, elation, and a little bit of relief because of the stress there. That celebration went on for a long time, but Tom Brady, after all of that, sought out Patrick Mahomes to tell him how much he respected his game, appreciated his competitiveness, and Brady reiterated that yesterday when talking with us and said he's just such a tremendous playmaker, really a unique player. Mahomes, of course, was asked about Brady, and he said his overall understanding of the game is second to none, and when presented with the idea, Mahomes was that maybe this would be the last time he got a chance to play Brady, meet him again, and beat him. He said, oh, no, 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 no. I expect him to be around this league for a very long time. He is still doing it at a high level. So uh, really anxious to see both of these quarterbacks tomorrow and how this game plays out, Colleen. Still doing it at a high level, but yet people are still doubting him. I don't understand how people haven't learned yet, but we'll see how this one plays out. Giardi, thank you. So both quarterbacks, they could clinch playoff berths this weekend. New England will lock up their 11th straight trip to the postseason with a win. For Kansas City, they win their fourth straight AFC West title with a win and a Raiders loss to the Titans. So this Chiefs defense has been playing a lot better lately. A total of 26 points allowed over the past Two weeks here. So, Mike, Rob, how do you think that um, they handle Tom Brady here? Well, I think Tom is going to have to beat man coverage, and especially those those skilled players on the New England Patriots uh, offense. They're going to have to beat man coverage. And we saw last week, I got a video, show the video, Cody, a video of Tom Brady just getting upset. Check this out, guys. Like, throwing his helmet. We, You know, we've seen Tom Brady ha have it before, but he's basically sitting there saying, I need separation. I need more explosion. I'm back here. I'm not going to I'm not going to run the football and his guys coming after me we're seeing man coverage but you have to win you got to be quicker you got to be faster look Tom Brady had 47 attempts last week 23 of them went to Julian Edelman and James White okay wow. and, and when you look at it that way those players and I love those players Julian Edelman and James White but they aren't guys that are your number one threat though they aren't guys that you can just sit back there lean on and just know that they're going to win they're matchup guys you need guys on the outside to kind of take the best cover guys so that they can you know so that they can take advantage of the matchup they don't have that in this offense mm -hmm. if they don't get somebody that can create some separation other than Julian Edelman I'm scared for this Pats team. It's crazy. He leads all receivers in red zone targets. That is their main guy. All receivers in the NFL in yeah, red zone targets. Yeah, and he about this big. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Right. <laughs> like, that that video of, of Tom Brady and his shenanigans reminds me of Mike Jeezy bef <laughs> before the show when he's yelling at Cody and he's <laughs> telling everybody to get everything lined up. I mean, you, you know, you're, like, yeah. you're expecting more out of everybody, mm -hmm. and that's what Brady's doing. But, look, it, it's, it's hard out there, right? It's yeah. hard out there for Brady right now. But when you look at this Chiefs defense, what I can't get out of my mind is the AFC Championship game from last year. When you think about what this, this Brady-led offense did, they basically got the defensive coordinator fired because they yes, couldn't stop they him. They couldn't stop Julian Edelman. You're talking about Julian Edelman, the, the, the impact he has on this offense. Look, Tom Brady's going to, to him on third down. Everybody knows it. The Chiefs knew it last year. They couldn't stop it. This is why Steve Spagnuolo was there. He's there in Kansas City to find a way to, to make Tom Brady throw to somebody not named Julian Edelman. But, and well, that's going to be the key to this whole game. And then early in the season, they make the coordinator change. Everybody's saying, well, they're making the coordinator. We're still a bad defense. And my, my predictions are not great. I'm wrong more it's often okay. than it's I'm okay, right. It's okay, Jeezy. But, but I, I know what I've seen from a Steve Spagnuolo defense. I saw him give up 80 points in two weeks in 2007 to start the season. Yeah. And then by the end of the season, they're shutting down the uh, Clamp the down. Patriots. Because over the course of the season, he learns them, they learn him, and they begin to tighten things down. And what they've done in Kansas City recently is they've kept guys in the same spot as much as oh, possible. A so it'll be rep after yeah. rep after rep and to get them to learn things. And the other thing is Tyron Matthew has been fantastic in bringing bringing those guys all together. Uh, they gave him a lot of money. Sp I remember in, in, in training camp talking to Spags, like, I love that guy. So he really has done a great job in getting everybody on the
the same page you, right there. You were talking about me pointing out the mic, right, as the center. Yeah. Don't underestimate what has gone on with the offensive line for the New England Patriots. All right, Isaiah Wynn out earlier to start the year. They had Marshall Newhouse playing left tackle. They lost David Andrews to a blood clot in his lung. Yep. All right. In comes the backup center, Ted Karras. He gets hurt. He's out. Now Ference is in there. So that whole dynamic up with the line, who's who, Steve Spagnuolo knows that very well. Guess what he did last week? Uh, guess what Bill O'Brien did against Tom Brady? The inside cross dog. Mike will cross dog. It's coming up the A-gaps. Be ready for it. Yeah, I'm interested to see, too, how they defend the run as well because the Patriots coming off their best running game of the year, 145 rushing yards. And Sony Michelle, he kind of disappeared last week after that first drive. He only played 15 snaps, so he's had some really good games. They got the behind Chiefs. last week, though. You, know? you said it. It's that time of year, though. It Why is that time of back? year. We shall see what happens there. Niners and Saints. My pony. <laughs> NFC heavyweight.